Okay, well, it's ten past ten in the morning. Ten past ten on the tenth of the tenth. <sighs> Synchronicities are starting to get a little bit spooky, I tell you. Okay, so later this week, in three and a half days from now, at about 10 p.m. UK time on Thursday evening, Mercury in the sky will square Mars. So let's have a look at this. Mercury is the way you read, write, think, speak, move. It's the communication you have with yourself, mentally and intellectually, with others, verbally, by text and email and speech and phone, and with the world through socialising, travelling, partying, interacting. Mars is how you project yourself physically, whether it be for aggression, warfare and violence, bravery, heroism or courage. It's what you like down the gym, in the bedroom, digging the garden, walking the dog. These two planets are square to each other, or will, well they are now and will be for the next four or five days. Mercury is in Libra, a sign that it's okay about, but it's not that good when it comes to making decisions. It prefers to think of itself as diplomatic and seeing both sides of the story. And it's very good for balancing things out, but not for making specific choices. Mars is in Capricorn, a sign that it's really strong in. Capricorn's attributes are very much around work, structure, discipline and boundary. That's why it's so friendly with Saturn. And um, Mars can really react well here. So Mars in Capricorn is always going to be the hard worker. Problem is you've got Mercury squaring Mars. What this gives is an acerbic tongue. It, it gives the impatience with oneself and with others. Mars will get very frustrated at Mercury's, what is seen as Mercury's impotence and its inability to make clear-cut decisions or choices. Mars, as a result, will go, right, well, I'm not going to hang around for choices. Let's just make action. Um, Mercury will look at Mar Mercury in Libra will look at Mars in Capricorn and go, you're just being too headstrong, too rash, too impulsive, and it will dither away and try and explain and make excuses for uh, the sudden dramatic changes that Mars is instigating. Mercury square Mars leads to a clash between the need for physical action and the need for mental and intellectual deliberation. They say that actions speak louder than words, but when you've got Mercury square Mars in your chart, this can lead to a real dichotomy and even conflict between the way one speaks and the way one behaves. If you've got it in your birth chart, as many people do, and when I say many people, I would say as many as two, even possibly three percent of people might have something similar to this, then there is going to be this constant not warfare, but, but niggle, frustration, an itch you can't scratch between the need to do something and the need to think it through. For example, let me give you a few famous celebrities. I'll just deal with these in the order that they, I'll deal with these in, in the order they come up. There's the British comedian, whom some of you won't know, but there's a British comedian called Ben Elton who was born with Mercury on the midheaven in Aries, squaring his Mars in Cancer. And he's well known in the UK, at least, for his quick-fire, rapid repartee, smart-ass one-liners, always coming back really quickly at whatever's going on, really good at dealing with hecklers. And that's Mercury on the, in, in Aries, ruled by Mars, squaring Mars. Very fast, but not exactly the most subtle, tactful, or, for that matter, popular comedian. Let's have a look at the horoscope of the ex-Pope, Ratzo, the German Pope. Now, his, his Mercury Mars square, he has Mercury in Pisces in the first house, conjunct Uranus, giving him a very unpredictable nature when it comes to the mindset, squaring Mars in Gemini on the IC where he would constantly change his mind and make excuses for his behaviour. And bearing in mind some of the unsubstantiated accusations against him regarding some of his more, perhaps, slimy, grimy, insalubrious activities, um, with that Mercury, Uranus, Square, Mars, both on the angles, it doesn't surprise me. I don't think the guy's ever been in control of himself. I think he's been a puppet and a pawn. 
Fidel Castro was born with Mercury retrograde in Leo, square Mars in Taurus. That's a difficult one. That's stubborn, inflexible, incalcitrant, dogmatic, resistant to change. Once he makes his mind up about something, that's the way it's going to be. The famous British, well, British Australian comedian Tony Hancock was born with Mercury retrograde in Taurus, square Mars in Aquarius, with his Mars opposite the Ascendant. And he did fall out with a lot of his friends. But he also had, uh, he was an amazing uh, comedian. And with his Mercury retrograde in Taurus, a lot of his comedy wasn't verbal. Uh, his, some of his most famous clips are those where he uses uh, body language and particularly facial characteristic and mime to get his message across. That's what he was excellent at. And the most famous person I could think of with Mercury Square Mars is Groucho Marx. With Mercury retrograde in Libra, squaring his Mars in Capricorn, very similar to the type of energy we've got around us this coming week. So it's a kind of Groucho Marx week. But Groucho also had his Mercury retrograde in Libra, trining Jupiter in Gemini, trining the moon in Gemini, which is why he was so damn fast and so damn witty. If you've got Mercury square Mars in your chart, as you get older, you will learn to balance the need for action with the need for clear thought and rational and objective analysis before actions take place. It does give courage. It does give impetus and the urge to do things. But as you get older, it also gives the ability to think things through first. Actions do speak louder than words, but sometimes deliberation and consideration is a good thing. There you go, folks. Mercury Square Mars. Hope that's helpful. Bye.